This is the great awakening and final revival that will usher in the coming of the Lord. The judgment that, and this is the last number eight on this 2019. The judgment that came to Egypt brought deliverance to, the, to Israel. Make sure the blood is over the mm. doorpost of your heart. Mm. And remember everyone into, went into lockdown and they were oh. putting red ribbons up and, mm -hmm. and that's what the Lord was saying. And now, now with 2022, in 1 Peter, excuse me, in Jeremiah 1, verses um, 9 and 10, then the Lord put forth his hand and he touched my mouth and the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, this day I set over you the nations and over kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. 2022 will be the year of great and drastic changes, vindication and demolition. Mm. Going into 2022, it will be important to know that God has prophets whom he has appointed and anointed and set apart. The prophetic movement is being cleaned up. Mm. God has to get rid of the flesh. He has Amen. to have a pure voice that is not afraid to say, thus saith the Lord in this hour. It is not the pathetic prophetic. And if you have been turned off to the prophetic, you just fell into the snare and the trap of the enemy. Mm. Because in the 80s and 90s, when the word of faith, when Papa Hagen started and Oral Roberts started their message of seed time and harvest, Jim, you said it so perfectly. It was never meant for us to hoard up money and buy Cadillacs and Rolexes instead of souls. There are a lot of people claiming Cadillacs and Rolexes in the 80s and 90s, and God is saying in this hour, that was a pure word, but now you're going to claim souls. Mm -hmm. And in this hour, many people, when they hear the term word of faith, they switch off because of the extreme, and God has to bring it. He's bringing it back, and the same with the prophetic. There have been so many messages given in the flesh to puff up and to self-promote and it was not thus saith the lord but i'm so grateful mm. i'm so grateful jim lord i'm so grateful that you are not afraid to say thus saith the lord and if you look at jeremiah that first chapter right verses 9 and 10 there are only two places where it where it says to build and to plant that's mm -hmm. positive the rest of them let me read it there's four of them to root out, mm -hmm. to pull down, to destroy, to throw down. Mm -hmm. You want to call it doom and gloom. It is doom and gloom for those that are not ready and those that are not pressing yeah. into God. Right. A dismantling. Right. Mm -hmm. God is in the process. In 2022, we are going to see a great dismantling in every area. Mm. It's going to hit everyone. Going into 2022, it will be important to know that God has his prophets. A true prophet will, like Jeremiah and John the Baptist, walk in holy boldness and walk in holiness. Their message will be one of repentance because that's what requires of all men everywhere. Repentance of pride, self-sufficiency, religious activity, Void of the fruit of the Spirit, in particular, the fruit of the Spirit. Have you ever met a so-called prophet, but they were hateful? Yeah. Had no joy? Yeah. God says, that's about to change. Yeah. You're going to know them by their fruit. Yeah. And I love these two sitting here. I Don't love you? everyone here. Yeah. We can laugh. We have joy. Yes. There's patience. Navigating through this season, I like it, Emma. Dismantling for glory. Just because one can prophesy in this hour right. and possess the gift that does not qualify them, does not qualify them for the office of the prophet. A prophet is one that has been given, listen, a new message from God. In this hour, the new messages that will come from true prophets may be new to this generation, right. but not new to yeah. God. Right. And right. if you're out right. there and you're saying, 
If you're out there and you're saying, well, you got a new word from the Lord, sister, there's nothing new. Oh, yes, it is. It's new to this generation That's because true. this generation has shunned the prophet, the two prophet that says, get ready, get your house in order. Stop playing games with God and holding the holy things while you have secret sin.